a lot to talk about. I'm learning all these uh, this this medical terminology and knowledge from a local doctor here with IU Health. February does mark American Heart Month, so we're trying to raise awareness about the issue. Joining us is Dr. Elizabeth Vonderlo from IU Health. Thank you for taking your time. We're talking about SCAD heart attacks. Um, that stands for spontaneous coronary artery dissection. That's correct. Um, first of all, what is it? That means that the inner lining of the artery has a tear and the blood flow goes between the inner layer and the middle layer of the artery and then causes obstruction of blood flow through the artery. So there is no blood flow going into the artery causing a heart attack, mm -hmm. but the mechanism is different than if you have a um, narrowing of the artery or atherosclerosis. It's just the tear of the inner lining. Okay, doctor's telling us that this is a, a very small percentage of, of people who do have these SCAD heart attacks, but the majority of the people who have them are women, and they're younger women or between 40 and 50 years old. That's correct, yeah. 30% um, of these patients are women who just have given birth, so postpartum period, and the other majority is um, women around menopause, 40 to 50 years of age. What are the risk factors here? Um, there are no specific risk factor except for the one condition called fibromuscular dysplasia. This is an abnormal cell growth in the artery. That's a genetic condition. But independent of this condition, we don't know what's really causing it. Uh, high blood pressure may play a role, but we really don't know. But this is something that is genetic? Yes, it could be genetic. If uh, women have this fibromuscular dysplasia and if they have a um, spontaneous coronary dissection we should look for that. Okay and then I guess since there aren't a lot of risk factors when you know you're having one is when you know you have the issue that's going on. Yeah, this is a difficult part because women get this heart attack not expecting it. The other day we had a woman, she was exercising at the gym. She was 45 years of age, healthy, and on a sudden developed chest pain like a heart attack and she had a spontaneous coronary dissection. So if women develop this chest pain, they need to seek medical attention right away. So what do you think the main takeaway for women sitting at home right now listening to this who have never heard of this certainly isn't cause for panic by any means. No, it shouldn't. But what are your recommendations for them who might want to know more? I only would recommend if they develop severe chest discomfort or shortness of breath, go to the nearest emergency room right away because that can be treated. So most of these women would need a heart catheterization, then we would see it, and the majority would get a stent in the artery to open up the artery. Sometimes if the blood flow is restored on its own, mm -hmm. then we can treat it just with medication, such, okay. such as aspirin and blood thinners. Okay, and you said you see about three to four of these a yeah. year. Yes, I do. Are, are they often fatal? Uh, fortunately, none of them was fatal. Okay. Yeah, so that's good. But we also make the diagnosis very soon, very fast, and we, inter we act on it very fast. And yeah. just women be in tune with your own bodies. Yes, to yeah. know what that's very important. Okay. Yeah, all right, very... Dr. Vandalo, thank you so much. Thank you. Interesting information yeah. all the time. Thank you. Thanks uh, for having me. Of course, yes. Scott and Randy. Critically important health information.